I'm a detective with the San Jose Police Department working the sexual assaults unit. I really believe in getting justice for victims. I don't like it when suspects or perpetrators get away with crimes or think they can get away with crimes. It's like a chess game to me. You know, who's gonna outsmart who? And I take a lot of pride when I outsmart the perpetrator and we can apprehend that suspect. A lot of these perpetrators that use technology to shield or hide themselves don't realize that although it may take a little time, we do eventually end up figuring out who they are. And I take a lot of pride when we can apprehend them and bring them to justice. My parents came here in the late 60s and they were still very traditional in terms of culture. And so it was an interesting dynamic to have conservative Indian culture mixed with Western ideals. Part of my decision process growing up was complicated by the aspirations of my parents. I knew whatever I did, it, it had to be professional. It had to be something um, my parents would be proud of. My parents would always talk to me about how they came from, uh, my dad particularly came from a small village, my mom from a small town, and kind of the only way out or to do better was education. Even to come here, they had to do really well in school to come here on a student visa, which is how my father ended up here. I remember him always talking about how there's not much representation of Asians, uh, Indians specifically, in government. Um, at the time, at least, I think most of the Indians that were doing well were either engineers or doctors, and so he wanted me to be the same. You know, those were my only two options, actually. You could either be an engineer or a doctor, take your pick. Nothing else is acceptable. You know, I remember growing up, when my parents would have the Olympics on TV. They would root for America. And so I just always remembered that, and it's what made me patriotic. And it's really the main reason I joined the Army. Also, as an 80s child, I grew up on, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, all these kind of, you know, action hero type movies. And I guess it inspired me like it did a lot of others. I thought, all right, well, I'd like to start off by joining the army. As much as my dad said, yeah, we should have more Asians in government, he did not mean the army. He was actually quite against it in the beginning, <laughs> but then eventually signed off. I think he only signed off because he thought I was just gonna go enlist myself anyhow. <laughs> the compromise was is so long as I go to college and get my degree, I could join the army. And so this is why I ended up joining the Army Reserve, because it's part-time. So it allowed me to go to school, allowed me to serve the Army. I ended up doing ROTC through all this. And so the Army paid for all of my college anyhow, which made my dad even happier because it was all free. <laughs> In any case, he's very proud of me having joined the Army. And then now, as far as I've taken it and everything I've done with it. And then taking this a whole nother level is of all the non-military jobs out there, I go into law enforcement. He was actually okay with it after the army. He thought, hey, nothing can uh, be uh, much more dangerous than that, you know, and after having deployed and whatnot. My mom, on the other hand, is still having a heart attack to this day between my military career and my law enforcement career <laughs> and simply asked me, when am I gonna retire? Anyways, here I am in the Army Reserves 23 years later, and then law enforcement's been a little over 15 years now. I always felt that the average person is just trying to go about their day, go about work, and then just trying to go home at the end of the day without any problems, without being bothered. And I know what it's like 
and I've also seen what it's like for others for things as simple as coming back to the car after work and seeing that's been burglarized. Or maybe their car's missing because it's been stolen. Okay, it's the correct car and once I approach, I can see everything's been opened up. So they actually, whoever had the car went through it all and then you can see the amount of dust that's collected on the car. So it's actually been sitting there for a while now. So that's clear to me that whoever stole the car is not coming back to use it again. So at this point, I'll contact the owner and see if they're available to come pick it up. I, I think it's important to remain optimistic and hold on to that hope. Um, it can often make, you know, what we're going through now in present times a lot more bearable. Just knowing that things will get better and that we can make things better. Just keep pushing forward and do what you can for the community. I, I really feel like just like serving in the military, law enforcement is one of the great civic duties we can do in this country. Because both organizations are actually very actively involved within their local communities. So I know one of the aspects of this job is having to deal with those situations or see things that aren't necessarily pleasant to bring home. And that's why when I leave work, I just kind of shut it down, I shut it off, and I go back to focusing on my family and my hobbies. Uh, and I think that's where I find my peace. I think when you're into bikes or just anything with wheels on them, there's a natural gravitation towards stepping up to motorized. It was after I moved out of the house that I got ATVs, dirt bikes, and a bunch of other toys. When I got started in biking, I think there's a little bit of an adrenaline rush. There's a physical aspect of it. There's a technical aspect, like skill-wise. And I guess it's not easy. These things are not easy. And that challenge makes it exciting. That feeling of just flying through the air and just having a smooth takeoff and landing is amazing. I really don't know how to explain it. Going riding is a great break from, from work or just everyday stresses. You don't think about anything else in the world except getting over that next obstacle. And it's kind of nice. The phones are away. Not, not answering emails, not dealing with any other headaches, just trying to survive that next challenge. And internally, you know, you just get so excited when you clear that, that obstacle or that hurdle. When I retire, I'll still be doing this stuff, as long as my body can take it. There's no other family I have in the U.S. that served in the U.S. military. Not only am I the first, but I kind of take pride in being the first to perform a civic duty. I felt with my diverse background and my upbringing, I would be able to better affect the soldiers beneath me as an officer. You know, I started off enlisted, and I remember thinking to myself that I really want to help improve the organization I really want to help improve the relationship between officers and NCOs and the soldiers. But if I can just help improve functions, help improve morale, improve retention, then I'm doing a good job. I know amongst all of my Asian friends, Indian or not, all their parents came here for the same reason. They came here because the opportunity to do better is here. They took a lot of risk when they moved here with nothing. To, to become what they are now. I feel we should give back. Like, if you ask me, I'm thankful for it. It's one of the reasons I'm very patriotic. What the military did for me, it's a lot more than just exercise and discipline and a lifestyle. I got to travel a lot. I got to learn things that I never thought I'd be interested in learning. All my medical training has been because of the Army. Even if I was not in law enforcement, if I just see someone that needs help on the side of the road, 
Because of all the first aid and combat lifesaver courses the Army sent me through, I have this stuff dialed in. Everything from changing car tires or a Humvee tire, like all these things are real basic skills that I know nowadays people talk about we don't learn. But these are all things the Army taught me. There, there's so many little things that are learned and so many friendships that are formed. I, I would encourage more Indians to join the military.